Today, this is Peter Kniff from Castlestone Management with comments on the U.S. markets for the week ending May 18th. After a tough April, U.S. stocks rebounded in May, with the Dow Jones closing above 40,000 for the first time in its 128-year history. Equities rallied on weaker economic data, suggesting Fed rate cuts are back on the table. For the week, the S&P 500 rose 1.4% to close at 5,303.27. The Nasdaq Composite added 1.9%, reaching 16,685.97. And the Dow Jones advanced 9 tenths of a percent to close at 40,359. Treasury yields posted slight gains on Friday, but finished the week lower. For the week, the 2- and 10-year yields dropped 4.4 basis points and 8.4 basis points, respectively, and have finished lower for two of the past three weeks. Meanwhile, the 30-year yield declined 8.5 basis points this week for its third consecutive weekly drop. U.S. dollar index moved lower 8 tenths of a percent on the week as Treasury yields fell. The dollar index is now down 1.7 percent for the month. Gold prices recorded a second week of gains, closing higher by 1.8% over the week and setting a fresh record close. The yellow metal is being supported by increased expectations of Federal Reserve interest rate cuts, firm central bank buying, and safe haven demand. Oil prices posted gains last week as some economic data from the U.S. and China raised hopes for stronger crude demand. West Texas Intermediate uh, climbed 2.3% and Brent rose 1.4% on the week. Thanks for listening and thanks for doing business with Castlestone. We'll talk to you soon.